What do I think great instruction involves? Um, I think it involves knowing that rigor doesn't mean more. I think that gets messed up a lot. It involves making students reach, making them grapple with information, making them synthesize information, showing them benchmark work, analyzing it, doing real world problem solving, and along the way learning the skills that you need that are part of the curriculum to complete the problem. As a tech coach, uh, the group of teachers that have taken on the tech coach role across the district are working to help teachers and students use technology in a way that allows them to uh, connect in ways that we haven't been able to connect before uh, in our everyday curriculum. So now we're able to make connections using Chromebooks where kids are able, able to collaborate across the school. They're able to collaborate across the district and even find ways to collaborate beyond our schools and allow kids to publish their work in ways that we typically weren't able to before. Here at Hawes, good learning looks like students who are engaged, we have teachers who are very engaged, and what we like to do is make all of our learning opportunities interactive and to give kids and teachers an idea, an opportunity to work together, to do simulations, to do problem-based learning, and to really let the kids get in the heart of what the whole learning experience is all about. So today we're working on a research essay and I've used the smart board to put up a sample essay and using the tools on the smart board, we're able to dissect the different pieces of both MLA format and good writing. And then that serves as a guide for students as they do their own writing. If a kid has a question about something and we don't know the answer to it, we've got access to all sorts of technology in our classroom. And I, I feel like while there are, there are pluses and minuses to everything, I feel like what, what we're able to do in the course of a, of a class period has really uh, become more rich. So in my classroom, I try to use technology in a variety of different ways. We have the iPad cart that you saw earlier today. That's available usually for when they're just doing internet-based research. We do grab the Chromebooks when they're available. Uh, trying to incorporate more things with Google Docs and Google Drive, trying to make things paperless. That way students have access to the materials when they're both in school and at home. The current project they're working on right now, all of the instructional materials are not only handed out in one form in paper, but they have digital access to all of them as well. So if they're at home and they realize that they forgot it, they're able to still access it and not fall behind on the project and not be confused about the requirements and the expectations. We use the Chromebooks on a regular basis and all the kids have a Google Drive and it has changed my teaching completely because their work is all driven on the computers. Through the Google Drive, I could access their work and they could edit with me. I could edit their work from here. They collaborate with each other. I like to use Pear Deck a lot. Pear Deck's a lot of fun because the kids can interact with what's on the smart board. They're able to type things on their computer. They're able to draw things and then we can show them all up on the board. It's also great because it becomes an anonymous tool. Their names are not associated with what they see up on the board, so we can quickly go over some of the issues that they may be having. We can also have a lot of fun by drawing different pictures or solving problems. Stealing fruits, no stealing, no stealing apples, no stealing, no stealing, no rob, no stealing, no stealing, no stealing, no stealing, no stealing ah, apes from other. Okay, excellent job. In music Theory AP, we've been able to integrate technology as a way to get kids doing things more hands-on, using MIDI keyboards to practice scales and to practice building intervals and playing short progressions and also compositional software like Sibelius where kids are actually getting online and composing and arranging through technology. We tend to use the smart board in the library for uh, the read-alouds with picture books especially. Um, the detail is much better on the illustrations and we can show the students the text as well as the illustration at the same time. Helps them with reading and fluency. We use technology uh, on a daily basis uh, in teaching but as far as hands-on technology uh, this year the students have been using Chromebooks uh, a lot. We've used Chromebooks to use uh, a lot of web-based applications like Extra Math and Typing Pal, um, but most importantly, uh, students this year have learned to use Google Docs and they've created uh, PowerPoint slide presentations on Google Slides and they've had access to um, Google Docs for creating publishing documents. In um, addition to that, we use our iPads. Uh, we have iPad carts and laptop carts. Uh, we use iPads uh, on a weekly basis just to work on our 
handwriting skills and work on our math facts skills to tighten those up. Uh, I absolutely love the Chromebooks for my students. I feel like it helps them uh, learn in a different way, get them more engaged. Uh, they're learning how to use Google Apps for education. All this stuff is going to be useful to them in their future. So they're connecting within our school, connecting outside of the school, and it's really making a big difference in how they learn each and every day. I'm teaching students now in high school um, professional skills and giving them the exposure to professional career options um, that I wasn't even offered until I got to college. So it's pretty fantastic that we have this software um, and have the ability to really have exposure to um, such technology at an early age. Um, technology is pretty much embraced in Ridgewood and we use a lot of it using the Chromebooks and um, you know we, we definitely use a lot of um, features such as the Pear Deck and you know Powtoon as well and it's just been a phenomenal um, transition to a brand new um, you know pace in terms of where the field of education is going so it's been terrific. Willard loves technology! I think too many teachers, even in this day and age, just give students a ton of information to regurgitate. And I think if you gave the same students the same midterms and finals a year later, they would often score very poorly on them because they didn't really learn the information. They memorized it and forgot it. So I think for real learning to take place, you really have to be engaged with the information in an authentic way. And I think in our school, that's what we're striving to do. Have our kids really be hands-on and engaged with information, to know that rigor is not more of the same, and to enable our kids to synthesize information.